All right, so prepping for getting some more electrical stuff done here, and uh, one thing that Chris has been missing is a horn. Uh, the original one died on us, and we put an aftermarket one in there. Uh, we got that from what, Amazon or something? Yeah. Something like that. Some, and it lasted like a week, <laughs> and then it just stopped working. Um, and... Well, part of the problem, too, is he would turn the steering wheel, and it, the horn would go off. So, if he was going around the corner, he, you know, honking, that's not cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and the horn would only sound with, like, the horn button. It would only honk if you had the steering wheel turned. Yep, yep. So, there's something going on there. So, we're going to kind of dive into that. We want to get that taken care of. should be a pretty simple fix. I mean, there's not much to that circuit. Mm -hmm. So and we got an actual well not very authentic but it's still pretty authentic because it's made in Italy. Um, yeah, so we went over to uh, our local V Dub shop yesterday or whatever day that was, and we uh, picked one of those up. All right, so what we got in this spaghetti junction here is we've got this lead here comes from the steering wheel and if you're not familiar with how this horn works it's the button actually is, is your ground so the hot lead is a single circuit single line that goes right from the fuse right down to the to the horn and the only thing that that's doing is the switch is actually uh, closing the ground circuit so we've got that hooked up there and we're gonna go ahead and on the and then we're gonna hook up let's see we're gonna go positive and we're gonna go negative here and we're gonna get some power over here all right so, go ahead and push the button in, Chris. Do your horn well, ring. I gotta turn the car on. Yep, turn on. the car on. We got nothing. Got nothing. Alright, so go ahead and turn it. There. So, there's, so, whoops. <laughs> there's something going on there within that ring. It only does it the one way. So. Well, it does do it the other way, I think. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, so we'll get a meter set up to it. And that way, we're not getting blasted with the horn, and yep. uh, see if we can't trace that. Mm -hmm. All right. So go ahead and yeah, take that off. Let me grab the meter. Well, there's your problem. You figure it, find it out already. Oh, it's off the screw. You had. Well, that can't be all it is. Might be. How can it be that easy? Can I get a Phillips head yeah. screwdriver, please? Well, let's, let's go ahead and do it right. You know, ah, let's get a yeah. eyelet connector. Yep. Do it that way. I don't like those, those, uh, with the built-in shrink, they're not as good. Here we go. All right. Let's see if it works. It'll be fine.
Nothing? Oh. I didn't. Well, it's still doing it's that. It's still doing it. So that's not the issue. I'm going to take a look. I think they need to... Well, that's what it is. Yep, it's right here. Yep. So we gotta take all this off. All this wire. It's this one right here. How come it's not coming through? Fuck it, won't. It's like it's stuck. Yeah. Unless that's not the right wire. Unless it's like a wire here. I'm pretty sure this is it. It's a brown wire. Yeah. There's no brown wire in here, is there? Oh, there is one in there. So there's two wires. There's a big brown wire and there's a smaller one. I think it's that smaller one. So if we tug on this one. No, it's not a lot of room in there. I can't tell. Well here, we'll be able to tell in the where it comes up through. I mean that that's all one piece like you see what I'm saying this is all one piece right Should have checked the book. I bet they got a whole bunch of section on this. Yeah, you can check the book. Turn this down a bit so that the people can see. No, it should come out like that. Yeah, but it's coming apart. Is it? Yeah. Well, shoot. 
Is it like falling apart or? Actually, so my plan is. So hold, hold on. What? Actually, that uh, switch enclosure thing is riding on a bushing, a plastic bushing, on Wait. the steering column. All right. So I, I'm not sure how this video is looking so far. I'm sure there's a lot of edits and cuts and. Because there was probably some choice language that can't be put on YouTube, but uh, we <laughs> we took this apart. Well, and we didn't really mean to take it apart. Um, there's it a came apart. yeah, there's a clip that's supposed to hold this metal ring to the plastic, and as I was taking it apart, everything just psh, fell apart. I mean, it was like all over the place. So. Yeah, so today <laughs> we went back to our local beat up store and purchased a new turn signal switch. Which, to be fair, we needed one anyway, right, Chris? Yep. Why did we need one? Because I broke the return. Oh, you broke that one? Yes. So I think it's only fair that you break one, I break one, so now we should be good. So we got a new one here. It's all intact. All the pieces are there. Um, so now we're going to wire that up and, and get that into place. So, yeah. So, before I get... I want to kind of show why we had to take that all apart here. So... And I need a... I need a pointer of some sort. These are... Uh, Hand me that, hand me that Phillips head. All right, so here on the column, so our, our issue was that the horn was going when it wasn't supposed to go. So you turn the steering wheel and the horn would sound. So we took the whole thing apart. We took this off, obviously, and there, there's a ground wire here right in there and basically it's grounding all the way through to that bearing okay and that goes that ground wire goes down and, and goes into the into the front there so how that works is then you've got this this plastic bushing get the camera on it there this plastic bushing move that light that plastic bushing actually has little brass contacts inside there that are translating that... Translating? They're not translating. Uh, they're just like connecting, I guess. They're, they're connecting this, this bearing to the steering shaft. And it was full of grime. It was, it was really dirty. So we took it all out, cleaned it up, and... Um, made sure that we tested everything so we would we would run continuity from the bearing to the shaft to make sure that we were getting good continuity as we were turning the wheel and everything we checked that whole thing and everything seemed to be good so in theory the horn should work as it's supposed to in theory mm -hmm. so we're going to get it back together here and see what happens so i think we'll have to all right, so we got it all buttoned back up. Somewhat, yeah. Mostly. mostly. <laughs> we still got to tighten that nut down and whatnot, but mm -hmm. everything works. Go ahead and do the horn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now, it's super loud because it's not mounted yet. Although, I don't know that it's going to be any quieter than that, Chris. 
<laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty loud. They'll definitely hear you coming. Yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we got the horn in. We still have. We still got that mess to deal with. Yeah. Every time I see it, I just cringe. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We gotta get back into that. Yep. Yeah. Eventually. You gotta quit buying other things that we gotta do. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got like I said, you gotta quit buying things. Yeah. That we have to keep <laughs> adding to it. But we got the horn working. You're gonna mount that up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we don't need to show that. Nah, it's it's a pretty easy thing. Two can, bolts in the wire. Show where the mounting is. It just goes underneath. Uh, somewhere in there. Yeah, it's this little right there is where it goes. About. Yep. Yep. So, you're gonna take care of that, Chris. Yep. And I'm gonna go inside and try and quit sweating. <laughs> it's just hot out here. But, you know, that's what happens when you you start on it on the weekend, and you break something. Yep. Like I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> it's working now. Yep. So, and you needed a new switch anyway. Yep. So, it was a win-win in my book. So, Let's with that, guys, appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See ya. See ya.